ایٹین ہنڈریڈ آرس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی شراز محمود خان فرز ہیڈ لائن پرائم منسٹر ہیز کال فار ڈیوائزنگ افائبل فریم ورک فار ایکوٹیبل اینڈ افورڈیبل سپلائی آف کووڈ نائنٹین ویکسین فار ڈیولپنگ کنٹریز منسٹر فار اکنامک افیئرز ہیز ٹریس ٹو انہینس کوپریشن ود ورلڈ بینک ان ایجوکیشن ہیلتھ لوکل گورنمنٹ ہاؤزنگ اینڈ ایگریکلچر سیکٹرز اسپیشل اسسٹنٹ آن دا نیشنل سیکورٹی سیز پاکستان وانٹس ٹو فارملائز اکنامک اینڈ سیکورٹی پارٹنرشپ ود نیو یو ایس ایڈمنسٹریشن ٹو انشور پیس ان دا ریجن فار منسٹر سیز ہندوتو آئیڈیالوجی آف انڈین گورنمنٹ ہیز ٹارنیش دا آئیڈینٹی آف سیکولر انڈیا ڈیو ٹو دا رانگ پالیسیز Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control and world over will observe Indian Republic Day as a black day tomorrow. China says presence of U.S. military in South China is not a good sign for peace in the region. And now news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has called for devising a viable framework for equitable and affordable supply of COVID-19 vaccines to developing countries. Addressing virtually the fourth session of United Nations Conference on Trade and Development Intragovernmental Group on Experts and Financing for Development Today, he said coverage of the COVAX facility must be expanded to enable the developing countries to spend their precious resources on socio-economic development needs. Suggesting a five-point framework to, the, to fight the pandemic and recover economies, he said debt repayments for the most distressed countries should be suspended until the end of the pandemic. The Prime Minister said public sector debt under an agreed and inclusive multilateral framework should be restructured and consensual financing through multilateral development banks should also be expanded. He called for general allocation of special drawing rights of $500 billion to help elevate balance of payment pressures. Imran Khan said developed countries should meet the agreed target of mobilizing $100 billion annually for climate control in developing countries. World Bank's country director to Pakistan, Ajay Basain, called on Prime Minister, uh, called on Minister of Economic Affairs Khushrof Bakhtiar in Islamabad today. Projects being executed with the cooperation of World Bank and Pakistan came under discussion. The minister stressed to enhance cooperation in education, health, local government, housing and agriculture sectors. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on National Security, Dr. Mwaid Yusuf says Pakistan is looking forward to establish bilateral relations with the new U.S. administration built around fresh conversations. Addressing an event in Islamabad today, he said Pakistan's top priority is to establish economic partnership, then to formalize security partnership, including tackling global challenges and to ensure regional peace. The special assistant said Pakistan wants bilateral Pak-U.S. relations not concluded by hypertended with the U.S. relationship policy towards other countries in the region. Dr. Moeed Yusuf said efforts are being made to create a conducive environment in which think tanks will be able to carry out candid conversations so ideas can be generated and funneled into policy making. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has reaffirmed Pakistan's determination for peace and stability in the region. In a statement today, he said world community acknowledges the role Pakistan played to facilitate Afghan peace process. The foreign minister regretted that India has reprocated the peace overtures of Prime Minister Imran Khan. He said Indian troops are subjecting to oppression the innocent Kashmiri people. The foreign minister said Pakistan is consistently apprising the world that Kashmir is a flashpoint and its immediate and permanent solution is must for regional peace and stability. Later, talking to the Chairman Parliamentary Committee on Kashmir, Sheriyar Khan Afridi, Shah Mahmood Qureshi said Hindutva ideology of Indian government has tarnished the identity of secure India due to the wrong policies. The foreign minister said due to Hindu ideology of BJP, government minorities in India feel insecure. 
the serious human rights violation by India occupying forces in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir were discussed in the meeting. Foreign Minister said Pulwama drama has been exposed to the whole world. He said Pakistan has exposed India through the dossier Islamabad has presented to the international community providing concrete evidence of India's support for terrorists in Pakistan. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said the European Parliament, the British Parliament and other important international fora are raising their voices against the ongoing atrocities in IIOJNK. He said efforts are afoot to keep a new US administration informed of the whole situation. This is Radio Pakistan. Kashmiris on the both sides of the line of control in the world over will observe the Indian Republic Day as a black day tomorrow to draw the international community's attention towards unlawful and forcible Indian occupation of Jammu and Kashmir. It also aims to apprise the world of the continued brutalities and custodial killings of innocent Kashmiris and unabated massive violation of human rights by Indian occupying forces in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, all parties Hurriyat Conference has urged the people to observe complete strike tomorrow to protest against India's illegally occupation and state terrorism. Meanwhile, APHC Jammu and Kashmir People's League, Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Alliance and Youth Freedom fighters through protests displayed in several cities, towns and other areas of the valley asked people to boycott all Indian official celebrations and hoist black flags on houses, shops, electric poles and other installations. The APAC asked people to impose civil curfew in India, illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. However, Indian forces have been deployed in massive numbers all across the occupied territory, especially around the venues of tomorrow's function to prevent anti-India protest. In India, farmers protesting against government's new farm laws will also hold a rally in Delhi tomorrow on India's Republic Day. The rally will be held from Delhi's three border points, Singhu, Tikri and Ghazipur. Chinese and Indian troops have reportedly clashed again in disputed border at Nokhlu La in North Sikkim, where injuries on both sides. India's army claims that there has been a minor incident that stands results. Meanwhile, China's foreign ministry spokesman Zhao Lijian said the troops are committed to upholding peace, urging India to refrain from the actions and might escalate or complicate the situation along the border. China says the presence of U.S. military in South Asia Sea to flex its muscles is not a good sign for peace in the region. Talking to the media in Beijing, the foreign ministry spokesman Zhao Lijian said United States frequently sends aircraft and vessels into the South Asian Sea, which is not conducive to peace and stability in the region. He reiterated China's position that Taiwan is an illegal part of China and United States should abide by one China principle. Iran says it will re-embrace its nuclear commitment if United States removes sanctions and adheres to obligations. Talking to media in Tehran, Foreign Ministry spokesman Said Khatib Zadeh said Iran is waiting for removal of sanctions and effective implementation of agreement by the United States and other parties. The unveiling of the Test Series trophy between Pakistan and South Asia, South Africa was held in Karachi today. Pakistan Test cricket team skipper Babar Azam and South Africa skipper Quentin Nock were present on the occasion. The first Test match between two teams will be played tomorrow in Karachi at 10 a.m. And finally, the weather. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, fog is likely to prevail at a few plain areas of Punjab during morning hours. And that's the end of the news. For more news analysis, 
Log on to our website, radio.goe.pk, and also watch live bulletin streaming on facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.